Jennifer, I want to take you back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida now. You see their family members of the Parkland shooting Gloria victims. Alda. They're speaking about the My jury's husband, decision Dr. moments Elon ago Alda. to spare the suspect the death and penalty. And our daughter was Let's listen. Alyssa Alda, who was brutally murdered on February 14, 2018. We are beyond disappointed with the outcome today. This should have been the death penalty, 100%. 17 people were br brutally murdered on February 14, 2018. I sent my daughter to school and she was shot eight times. I am so beyond disappointed and frustrated with this outcome. I do not understand. I just don't understand this. Um, Dr. Allen. I'm disgusted with our legal system. I'm disgusted with those jurors. I'm disgusted with the system. That you can allow 17 dead and 17 others shot and wounded and not give the death penalty. What do we have the death penalty for? What is the purpose of it? You set a precedent today. You set a precedent for the next mass killing and nothing happens to you. You'll get life in jail. I'm sorry, that is not okay. As a country, we need to stand up and say that's not okay. I pray that that animal suffers every day of his life in jail. And he should have a short life. It's gotta be such a disappointing day. Four years you've been living this nightmare and it's just, there's never gonna be any closure. But this really wasn't the outcome you wanted. No, I mean, definitely not. I mean, it's been almost five years. We came here today, and it wasn't even a doubt in my mind that this would be the death penalty. I'm beyond disgusted of what happened, what occurred. And again, what is the death penalty for, if not for the murder and killing of 17 people? What would you ask jurors? What would you ask them if they were right here in front of you? What were you thinking? This isn't about your personal beliefs. It's not about your religious values. It's about the heinous crime that was committed. There is no recovery. Jail's about rehabbing someone. There is no rehabbing. Is there any sense of relief that at least you don't have to come to court anymore? At least you don't have to see this guy anymore? Doesn't matter at this point. And we still have to go to the cemetery to go see our daughter. Do you think there was somebody on the jury, at least one person who, from the get-go, would vote for life, no matter what the evidence showed? Probably. Lord Elon, you guys have to sit there for nearly 50 minutes and listen to them go count by count. Can you tell us what those moments were like? We sat there for over 12 hours waiting to find out our child was dead. And we just sat there being tortured by another hour waiting. This idea of the mitigating factors being his mental illness or this uh, alcohol infant syndrome, that that I'm going to pull away um, from what is obviously an emotional moment for the parents of one of uh, the victims. We Just some of the commentary that jumped out at me as they were discussing the jury's decision to um, spare Nicholas Cruz the death penalty. Uh, the father there saying he's beyond disappointed. He's disgusted with the legal system. He says he's disgusted with the jurors. Um, he says this sets a precedent for any other mass shooter that they will only get life in prison. Um, and when one of the reporters there tried to ask him, are you at least relieved that you don't have to come to the courthouse and see this guy's face? He said, we still have to go to our daughter's uh, cemetery plot. Oh, um, their daughter shot eight times. I, al I also was uh, was 
had an emotional response by listening to Alyssa's mother. And what she said was, I sent my daughter to school and she was shot eight times. And she continued, I don't understand. I don't understand this. Clearly, those families continue to be heartbroken. And honestly, there's no there's no verdict that is ever going to make them feel like justice has been served. And the rest of us can only imagine what it's like for them uh, and to be in the situation they're in. We'll continue to gather their reaction and bring it to you uh, throughout the day here on CBS News.